Let's look at some basic tools when defining columns and beams. In the bar section on the top menu, I select column. And in the column window, I have all my settings for this particular object. In the default settings, I can see some more options. In the general tab, I can set a rotation for my section. And I can also simulate camber by pre-stressing. I can enter the total force and the eccentricity in Y and Z direction. The camber simulation by pre-stressing is available for other objects as well. In the section tab, I can choose a regular section type from the section library. I have concrete sections, steel sections, timber sections, and hollow core. There's also a composite section type where I can choose a composite section type from the section library, choose the material for steel and concrete, the steel section and any cover parameters, click calculate and then I can use it in my calculation. I can also choose the regular section like this, if it's a steel section, this way I can also choose the material. In the stiffness tab, I can actually add some stiffness modifier factors, which I can see here. And these modifiers will affect the stiffness matrix as I can see in this picture. So I can enter some factors which will directly modify the stiffness matrix. And the end conditions for my column. Can choose to place the column above or below the cursor. I can place it anywhere on my workspace, like that. I can also enter coordinates. And I can also place the column relative to an existing point. So for example, I want to place my column, my next column, relative to the position of this column right here. So I just hover above that position, hit the F12 key, and I can enter the coordinates relative to that current position. So if I say, meters in the X direction and two meters and two meters in the Y direction, the column will be placed relative to those coordinates. In a very similar way, I can place my beams. If I choose the beam object, the default settings are very similar to the column the general section material stiffness and end conditions. I could choose between a predefined hinged and rigid and I can choose if I want to have them the same at both ends or different for the start and end. I can start placing them anywhere on the workspace. I can connect the tops of my columns like that. 
and also I have other options to place these objects. I can draw curved beams. I have several options to define these arcs and draw some curved beams. <laughs> 